We live in an environment composed of various things. There are several things that make up our environment such as air, water, animals, soil, land, plants, etc. The surroundings in which an organism lives is called its environment. The environment includes everything that surrounds and affects an organism. The air, the climate, the plants and the animals. For human beings, the environment also includes the people around a person and the interactions and communication with the people. Human being is a social animal and he or she cannot live in an isolation. Components of the environment Environment consists of two parts, natural and unnatural. The natural environment is composed of two parts, the biotic and the abiotic components. Biotic components The biotic components include the living beings. In other words, the biotic components of an environment are plants, animals and small microorganisms. The biotic component of an environment affects the population of other organisms. As for example, plants and algae are the producers or the food providers of the environment. Animals consume these foods such as plants and other small animals. So, they are called as consumers. Microorganisms and other organisms decompose the waste products left in the environment. These are called as decomposers. Abiotic Components Abiotic components are the non-living factors of the environment. These are obtained from lithosphere, atmosphere and hydrosphere. Examples, air, water, soil and light. Interdependence of and between different regions of the world. The things that are present in the environment are connected to each other. They depend on each other for their benefit. This can be defined as an interdependence. It can also be defined as a mutual understanding because both partners get benefit from each other. What is the relation of plants, animals and microorganisms with each other and the non-living things that surround them? Let us study in details. Plants and Animals Relations we know that animals depend on plants for food. The herbivores animals eat the plants and the carnivores animals eat animals. This connection of plants and animals makes a food chain in the environment. Food chain is the series of organisms that depend on next as a source of food. In the jungle, the smaller animals are killed and eaten by the larger animals. Example, lion eats the deer and deer eats the grass. Animals depend on plants for water. In desert, there is no water, but the animals quench their thirst by eating plants. Animals depend on plants for shelter too. Animals such as monkeys, birds, squirrels and different kinds of insects make plants and trees as their shelter homes. Snakes, leopards, ant eaters, and pandas also find shelter on the branches of forest trees. Plants also provide oxygen for the animals and the living beings. How do the animals help plants? Animals eat fruits and the seeds are passed on with their stool. The seeds scatter on the ground. This helps in the growth of the plants with the help of proper sunlight, air, water and minerals because without the proper dispersal, scatter of the seeds, a seedling cannot grow properly. There are some fruits and seeds composed of bristles and spikes. These get attached to the animal's body and are dispersed in a different part of the land or jungle wherever the animals move. Since plants cannot move, they rely on animals to scatter their seeds. 
plants depend on animals for carbon dioxide. Animals breathe out carbon dioxide and plants use carbon dioxide to make food. Animals make soil fertile. Earthworms and rats make the soil fertile. Some bacteria and fungi also help in the decaying of dead plants and animals. Animal and animal relations. Animals also depend on other animals for their benefits. For example, the relationship between the cattle and the egrets. An egret ride on the cattle and feed on the insects. The cattle is happy because an egret helps him to get rid of an irritating insect. So, we studied how plants and animals help each other. Now, let us study about the interdependence of human on other for the benefits. There are two main types of interdependence between people in the world. One, economic interdependence. Two, global interdependence. Economic interdependence. Economic interdependence is the need to depend on other for the work. Both the people get mutual benefit for interdependence. For example, small laborers from the villages migrate to the cities to get some work to earn their livelihood. They get small works in the cities and towns such as milkman, vegetable seller and construction laborer. They also earn money and provide help to the people in a mutual way. Global Interdependence Different nations in the world also depend on another for benefit. As for example, our country transports rice, vegetables and various other things to other parts of the country where there is no production of rice. So, this interdependence benefits each other. Our country generates money by exporting materials and other 